everyone, this is Elena and today I will show you how to make this silk scarf using um, alcohol-based markers and three inkers. So I have a silk scarf that's uh, square but you can use any shape you like and I have it folded for ply. So uh, because the alcohol markers will bleed through the silk and will go through all of the layers. So I'm trying to flatten out um, the scarf and then I will start coloring onto it. So I'm going first with purple. I'm using chameleon pens and chameleon ring curse. As well you will need some um, colorless blender or uh, rubbing alcohol. I'm using some rubbing alcohol because you will go through quite a bit of it uh, at the end. So first I'm doing with the purple, I think it's purple grape. I'm doing zigzag and this at the end you will notice that it will transform in some um, kind of like snow burst pattern. So I'm doing that and I'm going from the the, the middle point of the scarf when it's folded in um, four it's kind of the top edge or depending how you turn it. So next I'm going with orange. Actually this is a tangerine marker and I'm uh, going over that line a couple times so it has a chance to bleed through all of the layers. And then, because it did not, I'm just going from the back side and tracing that same line again. So next I'm using yellow, and with this one I'll be doing some polka dots. And I'm trying to go in that, kind of follow the same pattern. So when you we open the scarf, they'll go, um, they'll be in a way concentric circles or concentric patterns. So I'm just going over those um, dots a couple times so because of the bleeding effect that goes through all of the layers. I'm just checking there how it bled through. So next I'm going with uh, some turquoise. I'm just drawing a thin line and going over again. So just making sure that that's, that line is thick enough and has a chance to bleed through. Next I'll be using some of the inkers. So I'm using here uh, the peony pink, which is PK4 I believe. So I'm using some droppers instead of the, the inkers come with syringes, but um, I found it easier to do this with the droppers. So I'm just adding pattern, uh, dot pattern. And with the ring curse, it's easier for the ink to bleed, to bleed through all of the layers. So then I'm just adding some more around in the middle of the yellow. So next I'll be using some of the turquoise ring curve. And adding some below the aquamarine, kind of spiral or zigzag pattern. So you see how that reinker kind of bled even on the top layer. It's not like a one line, but it's like thicker one. So I'm adding some more dots there. And this was the sage green. I'm just pulling my scarf so you can see the bottom. I'll be adding mo more colors and more uh, reinkers. Here I'm using the uh, spring meadow. So I'm just doing a line. You can do any pattern you like. So you'll see here like um, the pattern we're doing, it's not really appealing, but at the end all those colors will bleed into each other when we add that rubbing alcohol and when we wash. So next I'm adding some little bit more uh, detail using the markers. So the markers are pretty good for detail if you want some thicker lines or more straight uh, kind of plain uh, pattern you can use the reinkers. Here I'm adding like a little bit larger dots using the sky blue and then to finish up I'm going back to the peony pink and I'm adding this big circle in the corner and then I'll add smaller ones onto the sides. So now we're done. Now I cleaned my surface. Actually I placed uh, another uh, plastic, um, I, 
I used plastic bag so whatever bled on the previous one doesn't mix up with the colors that we have on the scarf so I'm adding with this uh, again with a dropper I'm adding some rubbing alcohol all over uh, the pattern we just drew or made with the reinkers and uh, markers so I'm just going slowly over those and this will cause that ink to bleed into each other and create more fat, fun pattern or more fun design onto the scarf so I'm just going over everything that we did before and you will see how that ink bleeds it's kind of magic I'm going over that line and you'll notice that with the ring curse we have more bleeding where we, we, we where and where we drew with markers it's um, kind of it doesn't bleed as much so that's another difference when you do how you want it to come out whether you want to use the markers or the ring ink curse so I'm just adding a lot of alcohol on this one because it's thicker line so I want it to bleed more See how it goes towards the blue and the yellow dots. So next it's the sky blue dots and the peony pink ones. So after you're done with this, um, you, you let the scarf dry completely. Or if you want the colors to be softer, you can, um, you can wash it before it dries completely. So after uh, it dried, I went and washed it in cold water and then ironed it. And here is the final result. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.